Bhagavad Gita, the holy book of the Hindus. And today is the fifth quote. No one should abandon duties because he sees defects in them. Every action, every activity is surrounded by defects. As a fire is surrounded by smoke, there is a first lesson. No one should abandon duties. They were forced to abandon duties only when the family is not together. When the joint family has been disconnected and the family tree is no more. Otherwise, nobody understands what is duty. Neither you should use the word duty. There is no need to use the word duty because it has become a way of life. Like how you see it in Rockham School. Morning get up. They don't think it was their duty. Automatically, whether it is alarm, which is kept to ring at 4.30, or without alarm, most of the children sometimes comes and tells me we didn't have the alarm, but by 4.20 we got up, we looked at the watch, it is already 4.30 nearly, yes. The body wakes you up automatically and nobody is feeling pain. The moment they get up, it is not a duty, it has become a way of habit to take the saliva and put it in the eyes, drink the room temperature water, one full bottle, which is contains around one liter of water. If you want it, you can pour in the cup up and down two to three times and then chew it up. And then brush your teeth, press your fingers into the gums properly. Nostril blow, stomach pump is 200 and a lomo below. Clean up the house. As they light the lamp, they keep on singing because the Sanskriti of our India is everything goes with slokas. Even a doctor sings a song of that particular treatment and the patient listens. Patient also understand this medicine is for what and what and the mother in the house sings a song on what recipe she is adding so she never makes a mistake if it is for two people or six people the recipe she sings and morning that's what we, they do it the budget they sing for the not only for them but for the whole world a prayer song and by the time the sun comes up they open up their whole body and do the pseudonyms. No one should abandon duties because it is defects in them. When you don't do this one, everything is a defect because the morning foundation went wrong. Like the judo master told me in the London uh, Hokkaido martial arts center, uh, when I had the muscle catch on my thighs and he was sitting, he told me, in my 60 years of my life, I never got even one time muscle catch. The muscle catch is because you did not do warming up exercise before you start your subject. Before you start your subject, you didn't do stretching exercise. For the husband and wife, it is for play. For the family, it is love talks and nothing to be discussed about the money or the duties which is in the office. They see defects because they have not done the subscript. And when you are not done your warming up and stretching exercise, you catch, muscle catch is guaranteed. You feel tired very fast, you want to give up, the body refuses to take anything forward. The, the path is not open, the path opens and opens and opens and opens to the most deepest truth. That is what Bhagavad Gita says. No one should abandon duties because he sees defects in them. You should not abandon duties. And what is their duty? The beautiful body given by the nature of God. It is priceless with the eyes and nose. You have to only do the eyes and given. But you are like the baker. You have to make sure you have to grease it. Before you move, 
you have to meditate. Like all the high tech cars, they say, before you move, switch on and leave it for two full minutes because the vehicles, a variety of things have to reach up to make sure that everything is running properly, air conditioning, the engine, the carburetor, everything have to warm up. Strike while the road is hot goes the same. To strike you have to do the warming up. No one should abandon duties because he sees defects in them. He is seeing defects because he is a swamwari, means a lazy man. He is laziness because he is not even the ordinary hens and the cock. The cock will never call the hen. Before he calls, he goes search for the worms and then he digs it up and when he sees the worm, then he makes the noise. But again, the hen comes running to eat. Only then he makes love with her or talk to her. So warming up exercise and stretching is very, very vital, especially in the sports arena. And before they could go inside the Pitana Sadha secretary for the many MPs, their duty is to warm up in the slums in that area to make sure every house has got the solar and it's lit properly and it's cleaned up properly. And every house is lit with solar. Much before the rains come, you run up to the whole area which is under your control, MLA MPs and councillors and panchayat members. That is the warming up when you are stretching. You have made sure these two are beautifully done. Rainwater harvesting has been done. There is enough water for everybody in the whole place for 365 days. Then only you have the right to enter the Vidana Sabda for assembly meeting. Not to your hotels. Bhagavad Gita says no one should abandon duties because he sees defects in them. Taking the wife out for a walk to the movie, sitting with her. Bum, to bum in the garden or in the park before you could even go to the dinner table to eat your food. When you come home, you have to carry something, some food for her. How the cop does it? Only then you are called a husband, a wife, a family. Every action, every activity surrounded by defects as a fire is surrounded by smoke. You see, it is smoke, but you must know if there are so many problems, you know, you are boiling up because you cannot have any defect. You know you are doing a duty properly. Then you cannot have a muscle catch. You cannot have a chest pain because morning if you are uh, uh, drunk your water and when you are uh, eating your food, you make sure that you will not Eat fruits after your meals. Fruits are before the meals and not after the defects. You will not drink more water in between your meals because the meal time is to, to chew. So that your chewing helps you to strengthen your teeth and your gums. And your chemical digestion mixes, saliva mixes up with the food is very beautiful to digest it. And after the meals, no, half an hour before and one hour after only you should drink water. Night before you go into sleep, you make sure that you take two or three slices of ripe papaya and half glass of water and go to sleep. That is where you find only fire strike when the road is hot, they say, and you are always fire, a beautiful fire to convert every cold, every hard substance into melting point to create varieties of ornaments shining. And that shining is a diamond. But goodness, no one should abandon duties because this is defects in them. Nobody has got defects. Don't do uh, abandon your duties. The moment you see defects, one, when you point your finger to the defects, you know, three fingers are your problem. You didn't do your sums quickly. You saw your wife and your you didn't hug them in the whole day. You didn't kiss your children. You didn't hug the trees. You didn't talk to the plants. You did not talk to the street doggies and give them a biscuit. You didn't lift your head up to look at the sun and say, You didn't look at the moon. You didn't come out of the house to 
enjoy the wind, those are the defects. Every action, every activity is surrounded by defects as a fire is surrounded by smoke. <laughs>